Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe. Before I start the, t the tutorial, tongue twist, uh, I want to show off my video on how I learned to script. Now, if you want to learn how to script or know that how I learned how to script, this video link right here is going to be in the description. So be sure to check that out. Now, an example of a module script, I'm just going to be showing you, you know, the example of what it looks like. Like, I'm not really going to explain it. But I made a video, a joke video on instance.previse instead of using instance.new, which creates a new object in Roblox Studio. Well, instance.previse was the new function name, so it was just a little joke video, but it did, it does work. I just, I just made that to play around. <clears throat> All right, so module scripts. Okay, so let's read up on the wiki. So I'm gonna explain and I'm gonna teach you how to create the basic a basic one so we might have like two parts of this or I don't know I'll figure that out in a little bit in a little bit 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 all right so a module script is a script like object that contains code for a module unlike other scripts so what it's saying is unlike server scripts and local scripts a module does not execute when a game starts so if I go on server script service insert object script if we have print hello world, as you can see, it's going to run right away. Same with a local script. If I were to have a local script in like starter GUI, for example, uh, you you have that in and it's going to print right away. So a module script. So insert object module script. So we're gonna go into model. Let me take the. I'm gonna take the code out inside of the script module script. <clears throat> um. So just say you have print print a so nothing's going to print inside the module script as you can see nothing nothing's going to print unless you require it so what we're going to do is require this now to do this anytime you want to use a module script you have to use the require function so local we're going to name it module script that's going to be our variable name so local module script equals game oops game dot server script service dot module script um, okay so we just a access the module script but we need to use require so require and put it in the parentheses now just in case this uh, this module script has not been loaded yet we're going to use wait for a child <clears throat> just in case it hasn't been loaded yet whoops man okay so once we requ we require it as you can see it's going to print a because we required it um now so hopefully you learned something new <clears throat> so you can only use a module script whenever you require it now let's I'm just gonna change it I'm gonna make mod it looks bad it looks more clean to me with a capital M1 module so I just felt like changing it you don't have to okay so modules are table and then it's just going to return everything in the module back whenever we require it so that's what that is so it's gonna send this through okay so what if we want to make a custom function for printing so to do this what you can do is make our own function so function <clears throat> now modules are useful for making your own custom functions that's what I use them for um, so function instead of doing like function print so you instead of having a function like that like you would in a server script what we can do is we could do module module dot print or you could use a colon so module print so let's use a let's use a colon it just looks cool in my opinion or cooler so um, <clears throat> what we can do is just put print print high so let me make sure I have nothing in my server script okay I mean like no prints in my server script that's what I mean so as you, if we press play as you can see it's not printing high anymore that's because we have it in a function and we need to call this function so to call the function we 
go on a server script, type in module script. So module script is is this object, but this table is basically this module. So we're gonna go on a module, and then we have our our function called print. So we call this function so colon print. Okay. So if we hit play, it's gonna print hi. There we go. Now, keep in mind, guys, modules are very useful. I know it might be, uh, it might seem like it's not useful because of what we're doing. I'm just teaching you the very basics, uh, but they are very useful. <clears throat> okay, so if you were to use module dot print and you were to hit play, it's not going to. Oh wow, it worked. I don't know why, because um, we're using a colon here, but we changed it to a dot. But if you're ever going to use a dot right here, right here, then make it a dot. Don't keep it as a colon, like in your server script. Yeah. So that's the very basics. Another way of um, you could do print. So. <clears throat> Say you instead of going in the module script and changing and just having this function instead of having this one function print one word, say you wanted the function to be able to print anything. Um you could put text in here, so this might be a little confusing. It's text. Um so it's gonna print text. So text in this case as you can see, whenever we call the function, we need to have our text in here so it can print the text. So the text is going to be in here. So we make a string. Then you just push your text in here and hit play, and it should print whatever you typed in there. So I know that might be a little confusing. But yeah, that's the very basics, guys. So hopefully soon. I just felt like getting a video out there, a short video, because I have work later and all this week and weekend. So I just wanted to get a video out there because it's been a little while since I made one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.